Greetings people. Um, I'm going to teach you how to use an ad blocker, one specifically called uBlock Origin, um, which is the number one ad blocker on the planet. Um, it is fantastic. It does so much for, for something that's free. Um, so big respect to uh, Raymond Hill for that one by the way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how um, effective it can be and we're going to use good old Microsoft's sort of uh, Outlook um, webmail as a good example. So we're logged in here, okay, and um, here is the uBlock icon here. I've got it switched off at the minute so you can see what rubbish Microsoft chucks at you. So obviously I've got a, a, why I've got a Nokia advert, I do not know. If it's supposed to detect what I'm searching for on the internet, it's not doing a very good job, is it, Mr. Microsoft? Um, so anyway, so yes, yeah, so we've got loads of junk mail. Blah, that's a junk mail. Oh look, another advert. Cake by Sage. I got an advert by Sage. It is the worst thing I can recommend anybody to use as Sage. Why would it give me a Sage advert? I hate Sage. It's like Microsoft are trying to annoy me by using Sage. Oh, right, that is why I want an ad blocker. So anyway, I'm going to show you tr some neat little tricks with um, Microsoft um, Outlook web page and uh, I'm going to show you how you can tweak it so you don't get any of these adverts because I don't see why anybody should have to pay um, Microsoft to have adverts on your webmail it's ridiculous so here we go so first thing first obviously you need to install uBlock Origin through whichever means you need to and um, most browsers this is Chrome for example um, you've got more tools in the little three dots in the top right hand corner which is your main settings uh, more tools extensions do a search for uh, if we go down here obviously I've got it installed but you open Chrome store type in uBlock and you will get a list of stuff uBlock origin straight in there add that bad boy boom it's automatically installs all my runs and um, it does have an inc incognito mode so you can run it um, in incognito mode as well to stop adverts when you're surfing the web um, anonymously or trying to um, if that's possible Google for hell right anyway so we'll go back to this nice little thing so ignore the name it's just a crappy little email address I use for spamming for lots of spamming that's that's a wrong term um, for spamming spammers I should say okay so yes that's it's one that I used to abuse all the spammers who spam others so I try to get me back me uh, my way back at them by using this account sorry I'm just playing with Ruby's cube um, right so getting back to this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you block on and let you see the effects of you block as it is when it activates so turn it back on reload outlook right first thing you notice adverts are gone but look what Microsoft likes to do so Oh, it looks like you're using an ad blocker. Yes, because we don't want your crappy adverts. Um, the other thing I'll point out with adverts, you don't know where they're coming from. They're not on Microsoft servers. They are injected into the, the web page. Um, so they could be coming from out of Mongolia, as far as you know. So they are very, very, it could be a very super slow connection they're coming from. It could be a dial-up connection, you know. It could be 56K modem or something. Um, so you're waiting for these adverts to load up on the website. It takes time, especially if you're on a slow connection. Um, if you're not on one of the fiber packages then it is going to be a very slow thing so it's going to be one of the things you'll be waiting for the website to load for and when you click on stuff you're going to be waiting for another advert as you can see up here you block since i've switched it on has actually blocked 25 adverts that's how many adverts were hidden in the background not there was just not one or two there when i was clicking when it when, when you seen two adverts there was at least 50 adverts ready to be pumped at me in the background so while I was looking at two of them there was actually 48 more coming down or whatever how many other there is behind as you can see there as I'm talking it's going up to 32 so Microsoft are constantly bombarding you with adverts okay on their outlook good thing is you block is blocking these and stopping them from coming anywhere near your, your web page so you're not going to get those the other thing I should point out with advertising is advertising can be one of the main sources for malware so you've got to be very careful with adverts and do not click on any any adverts that you get. Um, they used to be prime targets for people, you know, you used to get uh, adverts coming up saying your PC is running slow, click here to optimise it or click here to 
to get better performance blah 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 complete bollocks it just linked to an instant download um, you will just basically click on the big yes button install what you want to my computer button okay do not touch adverts if you haven't got an ad blocker get one now they are probably one of your prime um, defenses against infection at the minute God's honest truth uh, most of them are free uh, and this one is potentially amazingly free look at this as I've been talking this has now hit 50 adverts just by talking for like a couple minutes anyway so I'm going to show you how to get this space back and also this bit here if you don't want them why should you need to lose space just because Microsoft wants to make money from you you know what I mean sign up for ad free outlook that's going to cost you x amount of pounds a month or something like that ridiculous okay so what you do is good old u block if you click on it you get these nice options see these well, these are nice little options this one is an instant attacker it, it zaps out code so if i wanted to blast this one i could blast it out with that it will come back next time i load however if you use the little um uh, what, what do you call these things? I, I remember there was a scientific name for these in, in chemistry when you a little eyedropper. I know it's an eyedropper, but there was a proper pro, proper term for these. If you can remember, hire comment in the post, will you? And I, in, hire in the comments and I'll, I'll add it or something in a, <laughs> in a subtitle. Um, but yeah, I just can't remember the technical term for them, so or scientific name for them. Um, it'll come back to us when I get off the video. Right, so... What you want to do is we're going to try to get rid of this advert first okay and i know this is a multi-layer one because i've done it before for other people so what you do is you click on this and you see how it's changed color Ooh, that's targeting what you're trying to remove okay so i can remove anything i want you've got to be very careful obviously because you can break a website by doing this and then you've got to have to go and you block and unblock it okay but for example this is like multi bits this is multi bits so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight, I want this whole bit gone because I want, I want this space here, where is it, I'm sure I just lit it up, I want all this space to fit in this bit, I don't want this bit, there's, there's nothing here, it's fresh air, or free screen, so I want this bit back, so I'll click on that, boom, all you've got to do is click pick, uh, create, once you've picked the pink bit, you see how it's disappeared, the writing's disappeared, but you've still got another bit behind, it's a double layer one. And um, that's how they're getting the roll up, rolling ads working. So you click on this again, do the same again in the pink bit. Boop. Create. Oh look. <gasps> Ooh, extra space on the website. Okay. And you can do that again for this bit. So if you've got lots of folders down here and you've got this thing in the corner using your space up, you don't want that. So let's blast that bit. Okay. So we'll come down here. Find the bit that goes all the way across create a block now that's gone and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to check to make sure there's no other ones hidden in there so I'm just going to go down as you can see that is now full of that so if I had lots of folders I'll be able to use all that pink space instead of up to here that's how good an ad blocker is especially you block origin it's the best ad blocker for that reason because you can program it to block stuff so if I come up this website and go back in ad blocker will all my cut out that, that stuff no advertising okay and you can do that for yahoo you can do that for google if it i can't remember if google has ads i'm pretty sure it does and um, yahoo had lots of money making ones once upon a time even at the top of here it used to have like a uh, do i want to get out of this no i don't want to get out of this right. i forgot how you get out of that bit no i think you just press escape don't you no you don't ah i forgot how you get out Killed it. <laughs> I forgot now you get over it. Um, I know there's a stupid way of doing it. Oh, you just click on that and then quit. Yeah. So, yeah, you just click on it and quit if you make a, mi make a mistake. Um, so, yes, uh, yeah, as, as I was saying, Yahoo used to have an advert right across your inbox, right here. Um, and you block, chopped that one out straight away. You didn't have to do anything with it. Um, but, yeah, so there you go. Ad free Outlook or Stroke Live webmail no adverts so enjoy keep your computer safe this is what this is doing this is keeping your computer very safe from any nasty advertising that websites potentially are making money from they're making money from you from for using a, a crappy email system which to be fair is not very secure anyway i wouldn't use 
outlook for anything. I just use it because it's an easy way of getting my own back on people who try to rip other people off. So there you go. Anyway, enjoy, um, and I hope uh, I hope you can understand what I've done. Uh, if you've got any queries, you can always contact me on Facebook, um, which you'll find through various uh, videos on my YouTube channel. Okay, see you later.